Simon, it's great to see you. Just looking back at the last week or so, obviously we had that big win against Eastleigh last Tuesday. Either side of that, we've, we've taken on the top two in the National League. Going to go down to both of them, but both times recovered, come back, could easily have won them both on another day, really. I mean, what, what does that say about the, the character of this group of players right now? Yeah, I think the, um, the character of the group is, is unquestionable, really, from that point of view, in terms of resilience and, um, and finding a way back when they need to. I think that's been really impressive, um, and that's great credit to the players for that. So, in, in some big games, some tough games, and um, obviously in these games, we, we always plan and prepare to take the lead, um, but you also have to be ready for you know, finding a way back into games. And the games you mentioned, in particular, obviously, Hartlepool, and the Sutton United games to find a way to get back in and get them levelers very, very late against Sutton. And equally, um, the equaliser last week against Hartlepool gives us enough time to maybe push on and get the winner. So, you know, that was really pleasing. And um, as I said on the day, I've got to take the positives from that. Uh, and of course, build and reflect on the next thing for us. How do we, you know, make sure that it's us taking the lead in these big games? Just looking at the National League form table over the last five games, and we actually currently sit top of it with three wins and those two draws. I mean, I think there's a lot to be said for timing your run well at the end of the season, and we seem to really be hitting our stride at the, at the right time. Is that fair to say? Um, yeah, I think, look, what you have to guard against is when you're on a decent run is always what's around the corner, not getting complacent or resting on, on, on half a job done, you know, because we've got a lot of points left to play for. And, you know, when you're in that, zone where you're you know you're fairly satisfied I wouldn't say we're carried away with what we're doing because you know we I think there's more to come I think there's another gear to go and um, you know and as much as I'm pleased with what we're doing I, I also want to you know be coming out with three points in these big games and that's in that's important that's our ambition that's what we're here to do and I believe that's what the players you know when we're at our best are capable of but you know stay positive about what is good you know and what is positive about our performances and you know, longer term, if we maintain that level of performance in games, you know, we know we're not going to be too far away from a win. A lot of talk on Saturday was obviously about Harry Cardwell and the impact that he had off the bench in the game, but it was also another man of the match performance from Elliot Newby as well. I mean, are you surprised at all at the, the ease in which they both seem to have stepped up a level since coming from Charlie? I'm not sure surprise would be the right word. You know, um, I'm pleased with the contribution they've made to the group, both from the bench in games and when they've started and um, you know it's gave us different type of options you know I spoke about Harry's you know obviously got a, a physical presence to him and a profile that you know at times allows different type of actions to take place you know Elliot's been brought in to sort of maintain creativity and I think they've both you know adapted to the level really well and you know contributed in the games well so that's good and of course then that that you know keeps the bar high in other areas of the the pitch for the lads that you know, might be competing for that spot, competing for that shirt to, you know, to contribute to a really high level as well. So really happy with both their contribution, but certainly wouldn't overlook the contribution elsewhere as well. We did suffer a pretty big setback last week with the news that obviously the three points that we earned from beating Dover earlier in the season have been taken away from us after their results were expunged. I mean, how frustrating is that for you and the players? Because it's almost like we're being punished for winning a game, really. Yeah, I was disappointed for the players. I must admit, when I... I um, saw the decision and saw what had happened obviously there's a huge amount of effort and commitment and work and planning that goes into getting three points and obviously you know the game in question I wasn't here at that point so you know for the players that were here and did contribute and the staff to that win I was disappointed for them but also the you know there is um, although it is an, now an uncontrollable thing for me and it's not something I would focus on and again you know I, I'm, I've not been exposed to the rationale behind you know that decision and why they come to that decision but yeah I, I was disappointed you know with it and obviously all we can do now is make sure that's another driver in in us being focused on our ambition this season and and again as much as we're disappointed by it we certainly wouldn't let it become any type of excuse whatsoever looking forward Easter weekend I mean it's obviously always a, a really intense period of games I mean it seems crazy to think really that we've still got 13 games left to play at this stage of the season I mean how carefully do you have to manage the players now over this next run of games yeah there's a balance to be struck in that you know the the team that goes out has to be the one that we all believe that is the right team for the day um, and with that does come careful management and you know you, you can't look too far ahead and you can't you know get too 
um, obsessed with anything beyond the next game, in my opinion. So, but equally, you do have to, you know, strike that balance of making sure that the, the lads are fresh and that the right amount of energy will be available for the for the team to use on the day. So, you know, it's tricky, and there are a lot of games, and you know, the the Easter weekend again is is a fairly traditional thing. So, there's nothing too unusual about that, and the bank holiday weekend games. But I think it has been a particularly, you know, demanding period of. Saturday, Tuesday games, and now we look forward to a Friday, Monday set of games. So we do have to look at it, and we have to, you know, use all the tools available to us. We've got a, you know, brilliant training ground, so we can prepare as, as well as we can, you know, for the players with their nutrition, and we can, you know, use our sports science team and our department to make sure that we're assessing and monitoring, you know, the players' outputs in games and training, and just be as professional as we can. And um, and it comes back to, you know, that that. Um, that collective spirit that you know as much it is demanding it's demanding for everyone and we've got to make sure that you know going into these games that you know we don't we don't lean on on anything that gets in the way of our positive energy and we certainly you know won't be doing that two key players that have been missing in recent weeks have been John Rooney and Liam Hogan how close are they to returning to action at the minute yeah both are doing well um, I think there's um, there's a bit of dialogue to be had around what they'll be available for if they are available at the weekend. But, you know, I think that there's been um, a positive week for them both, but it probably still hangs in the balance a little bit. Just looking ahead to Friday's opponents and Aldershot, they were on a poor run of form recently, but then they went to Notts County on Tuesday night and, and got a 1-0 win. So, it, again, it just goes to show that you, you can't take anything for granted in this league, can you? No, absolutely nothing. And I don't think you can in any league, you know, actually. But um, I think that we have to, as, as I alluded to earlier, as much as we are in a half-decent run of form, um, you know, we have to really respect every single opponent and we do, you know, we do. We work really, really hard on understanding our strengths, but we also have to understand what our opponent's strengths are and, you know, on any particular moment in the match, someone can have a moment of quality, you know, someone can have a really good day, you know, if a team might have a, a moment in the match which triggers something. So you've always got to be ready to step up and compete to them challenges that arise instantly and there might be things that you haven't prepared for. Um, and there might be things that the players, you know, in, in matches which can influence patterns of games. So you have to be ready for all of them things and you have to be as prepared as you can. But, you know, no plan survives first contact with the enemy and, um, and professional football would be very reflective of that. So really, it's just making sure that our house is in order all of the time. We're trying to perform as best we can. And if we're doing that, then, of course, we're guarding against any potential, you know, banana skin around the corner or any tricky game. Is there any small advantage to be gained maybe for having a, a couple of extra days rest this week compared to them who have played Saturday, Tuesday, Friday? Well, I think it's always great when you get some time with the boys on the grass, particularly this bunch of lads because they're so good to work with day to day. So when it's not a, an, an immediate Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday turnaround and you do get a two or three days to you know, calm down and breathe and reflect on the games you've had recently in a little bit more depth before moving on to the next game, you know, certainly for me as a coach and manager and working with the staff and the players, it's definitely definite advantage in that. Great stuff, Simon. We'll let you go. Thank you for your time. Pleasure.